Before we send the PCB uh, into the production, we have to check for errors. Now this is called design rule check. So I will go to tools and I will select design rule check. Here I can set which rules I want to check. Let's say I want to check all the rules, so I will just run it. Now it is checking the design, going through all the rules that are set in design rules, and this is the list of errors. And now we'll go through them. I have three rule violations, and now I will go through them one after another. So clearance constraints is zero. This is the, um, if you evaluate the distances between coppers, this is called clearance constraint. Short circuit constraint, if you've made any short circuit, any, any connections to nets which are not allowed. Unrooted net constraint, if you just forgot to uh, root one or another connection. Modified polygons, if they are modified but not re-poured. Width constraint, if you made too narrow or too wide tracks, according to the rules again. Power plane connect rule is the uh, rule connecting the power planes to the pads and wires. Actually, power planes are something that are is different from the power uh, for, 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 from the copper planes, copper pores. Uh, these are power planes uh, which are uh, acting as ground, as power supply in the mid layers of the multilayer PCB. Hole size constraint, if you made too uh, wide or too narrow holes. And hole to hole clearance also is limited. You cannot make holes too close to each other. Minimum solder mask sliver is the uh, width of the solder mask, which cannot be too small because it will peel off. Silk to solder mask clearance and silk to silk clearance. So the text which is printed on top or bottom should have a, a small clearance so that you that it's visible more or less because it cannot be printed uh, very small or too close together. Net antennas are the tracks which do not go anywhere. They just act as antennas and height constraint if you have a height defi defined for the uh, and there are some components too, too high, too tall. So there are three rules here that have been uh, that have been uh, um, broken or and uh, I will go now to the first one and we click on it. So six to silk to solder mask clearance problem is actually here. So this is the distance which is too close and now what should I do? Well, I can. It's a part of component. The component is made to that it already uh, it's closer than it should be according to these rules. So whether I can change the component or I can change the rules. Well, I think here I can change the rules because I can go to lower value. So I'll go to design rules, and I go. I will go down to uh, manufacturing rules, and here I will choose. Uh, silk to solder mask clearance and I will change it to 0.2 millimeters which I think is just okay okay this rule is no longer here what about the other two silk to silk clearance here it's too close I will just move it a little bit away well what I can do also is I can move this here what else let me show and find another one oh that one Okay, I think that now it should work. Going back, which else? No, none. Okay then, let's just run the design rules again. Tools, design rule check, running through it, and now no errors are here. So our PCB is now ready for production.